Hey there and welcome to this edition of Sugar CRM Training. Uh, today we're going to look at importing targets. So the first thing we need to do is click on the importing targets button and we need to get a CSV file uh, opened. So once we've got, uh, got everything set up, we can open the file. You see uh, the first thing that happens is we get uh, showed a uh, sample of what, uh, what the CSV file contains. So what we need to do is then assign each column in the CSV to a different field within our database. So we do this simply by clicking the pull down fields, clicking the uh, different types of, uh, types of information. You can see here that uh, you know, if you make a mistake, it's as easy as just going back and clicking the field again and changing it. So this particular database here, we've got a number of fields. We're filling them out, the address, we're filling out the, uh, the primary phone number. We go missing a little bit off the bottom of the page here, but you'll notice that there are a number of different types of phone numbers that you can select. Uh, we can select email address. Now this particular instance here, we have two types of information. We have the information of the business or of the, uh, of the contact. So we want to make sure that, uh, that we separate those. So what we do is we set uh, the account name as the account name, obviously, and we set the, uh, the last name or the, the name of the business as the individual's name. This helps us down the track when we um, uh, send these guys uh, marketing material that we can actually uh, send them to the business or address them to the business but uh, assign them to the uh, unique individual. Helps us break through some of the barriers and helps us get a, a better conversion rate on our, on our uh, marketing. So here we are. We can assign a um, obviously a title to the uh, to the person. The last two fields in this database, although you can't actually see from this record or these two records here, they actually contain Facebook and Twitter information. So we've got some uh, some specific information in our database that's related to or, or a, a, a unique setup or a customized setup that's related to Facebook and Twitter. You can also get this too. Uh, MetaBiz can help you set these types of things up. But uh, they're just that little bit of information that, uh, that helps you uh, make contact with the, with the target. So once we've got all the, inf all the fields selected, we click Next. It tells us to check for possible duplicates. This is just a uh, field that allows us to check for duplicates based on those, uh, those fields, email address, full name, last name, other email address, and we can also assign some others. So it imports the records. You can see here, out of, this, uh, out of these records, 22 of the 25 were created, three were not imported due to an error. And if we have a look at the errors, we can see that uh, it's because the last name or the unique name of the individual was not uh, was not assigned. So in this particular case, we can go through, we can fix up those three contacts and we can import again. Uh, so it's as easy as that and you can see now that those targets are in the database. So this is Simon from MetaBiz and thanks for listening. We'll talk to you on the next edition of CRM Training.